welcome back to Midford Pottery. Uh, this is another tool making video. In this video we will be making uh, twisted cut-off wires. Uh, these are the same as what Simon Leach makes. This is my take on Simon Leach's make. So go check out Simon Leach, the legend that he is in pottery. Learned everything I know from <laughs> all online, all self-taught, me and Simon Leach, Earth Nation Ceramics, and a few others. So, rundown of the tools we will need. Scissors, fishing wire, a ruler, and a dowel, wooden dowel. And we have, you can use two wooden dowels if you haven't got a ceramic dowel which we made a long time ago. So it's basically bisque wear. And what it does, it makes one toggle heavier than the other. It's easier to put in your splash pan, etc. Uh, they don't tend to fall on the floor as much. So we use our ruler to measure our fishing wire. So we'll move the camera down so we can see what's going on. And it's a bit fiddly to make them. So, the measurement that I've been using for my fishing wire, it's basically a standard ruler and I'll go one, two and a little bit. So it's just over two, which is sort of what's that, about 60 centimetres, 24 inches. Now, the first thing we have to do is put our glasses on so we can see what we're doing. Then we make our first knot in there. It's just a basic twist. Uh, the first one is fiddly enough because we have to get our toggle, etc., halfway. And our, we have a little ball of clear to help us. So, what we can do. We attach that to the middle of our, our wheel and then tell you what, I'll take the knot out for now. I'll get the two ends and get it near enough halfway to, to help us start. Like I say it's very fiddly because this stuff's dead springy. So we're going about we've got about halfway. So what we do, we put our toggle in, not a very good cut, that's supposed to have a groove halfway, <laughs> it's nearly halfway. So we put that in like that, and then we, so we have sort of an extra hand, we stick that into our clear, and that'll hold that for us. And then all we do is a simple reef knot, I believe they're called, it's just a simple knot that way. And it always does that, it always comes out the clear. And then a knot the other way to lock it into place. Give that a little pull so that knot's tight. So as you can see, I'll get them out of the way. So we have that fastened round there. And as you can see there's no twists in it yet. So what we'll do, we'll move the camera a wee bit and we'll zoom in for you. Let's see and now it's a bit warmer so I can switch my heater off and then we'll be able to hear ourselves. So next we're going to put the twists in our twisted cut off wire. So what we do we stick that in our clear and one hand each on each side so we have that I get that out of the way so it doesn't get caught up so I can see it like that and then what we do we spin the wheel slowly and that starts to twist your wire and you just feed it in slowly Works its way up. 
I'm going to go out a shot and then I'll read just because I can't leave go at the minute. Well, I could, but once you get into the rhythm, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now I've got to leave enough at the top to fasten, so we'll go about there. Right, so I'll zoom out a bit so we can. see what's going on. So now we have our way like that so we've got to fasten our toggle on the top so we'll keep it under tension so we don't lose our spiral and what we tend to do we'll put one in like that we'll put another one in like that but we'll not close it yet because the toggle's going to go in there We'll use our teeth as an extra pair of hands and then we've got to tie that knot off keep our twists in that'll do for now so as you can see now if we left go of that as it is it would just unspring because of the tension in the twist and to get that out of it what you use is a sort of hot air gun paint stripper so this will get a bit noisy and what we're going to do you can see it sort of untwist a little bit and that's taking the tension out of the string or out of the, the fishing wire so I'll get it noisy for a second and then we'll catch up so I'm just going to run this and I can see that the fishing line sort of twisting or untwisting You don't want to do it too severe because it melt and snap and it's a bit of a guessing game for when it's ready. Usually it takes half a dozen passes like that. And then if we take the bottom toggle out it'll spin but it'll not untwist so there you go. So it one twists one or two but it'll stay like that now and there we have a twisted cut off wire so all there is to do is finish this end so we'll put uh, one more knot in for good measure and just nip that up nice and tight Now when you're cutting these little ends off, make sure they don't get lost in your clear or in your splash pan so you know where they are because they're, they're very spiky when you, if you get one and you're thrown with it. So we'll dispose of them over there and that is a twisted cut off wire. And if you watch mine and Simon's videos you'll see how beneficial it is for when you're taking stuff off the wheel. I mean I usually just I'll usually hold them like that. You can make them a little bit longer if you want but if you go too long they seem to be you don't want to go too long so I would say a maximum is going to be what you're making so possibly about a bat width so I'll make a few different sizes and then you got one so my old one here which is a little bit longer as you can see that's nearly a full bat width so these ones could probably go a little bit longer but that's it our second tool mating video hope you've enjoyed that we shall get the camera up so you can see my ugly mug there you go twisted cut off wire a la Simon Leach and Mitford Pottery very useful tool much better than the ones that you can buy in the shops I would I will say that 
even if you've got two wooden toggles you can lift your pots off the wheel without using too many bats great great tool relatively cheap to make like I say cheap oh cheap I mean you can get millions out of that fishing line bit of dowel cut up into bits fasten it on the end there you go twisted cut off wire hope you've enjoyed this tool video uh, next one that we have scheduled for our tool making videos is our trusty throwing sticks if I've got one to hand throwing sticks is our, our next video which is that uh, made out of hardwood and I thought it was rosewood it's not uh, what is it can't remember off the top of my head but it's a hardwood three millimeters thick dead easy to make dead useful and we'll show you them in an upcoming video like subscribe comment clears the way see you in another video very soon bye for now